Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Hao Song, and I'm from University of Saskatchewan, Canada. Today, I'm going to present my work about the robust and user-friendly 3D reconstruction of neutron tomographic images. Uh, neutron images may have low statistics because of the limitation of acquisition time and available neutron flux. Computer vision, uh, computer image processing techniques can increase the uh, image quality. And building a 3D model from 2D images may provide us a clear view and give us more detailed information. Uh, our previous existing work uh, either requires a lot of user input, which is pretty time consuming, or they use this destructive filtering method, which may cause information loss. So our goal of this research is going to uh, improve the process of preparing projection images for the reconstruction. The data set we used uh, was acquired from Canadian Neutron Beam Center at the Canadian Nuclear Laboratories in Chalk River, Ontario. Um, as shown uh, in the top image, uh, the images were acquired using uh, low flux, long exposure neutron projection um, and acquired by a N5 triple axis spectrometer. The plant was raised in a variety of soil media in a commercial aluminum beverage container. Um, which is transparent to neutron. And the sample was rotated between 0 and 180 degrees um, with 1 or 2 degree increment. And each picture was taken uh, by 1 or 2 minutes exposure. And the bottom image is a sample image. Uh, each of them is 2048 by 2048 in dimension and 16 bit grayscale. We have built a pipeline. Uh, which contains um, uh, sp spike noise removing, uh, contrast enhancing, rotation axis calibration, and uh, statistical noise reduction and reconstruction. The labeled steps are previously uh, semi-automatic, which requires a lot of user uh, selected thresholding value for each projection image, and they require user to uh, select the parameters for transformation matrix. Our automatic approach uh, only requires few global parameters from user, which are consistent for the entire data set. Here's a sample result. The left image is a 3D model we built from our semi-automatic pipeline, and it requires about one to two hours user time. And the right picture is the 3D model we built from our automatic approach. It only requires 15 to 20 minutes for each data set. Uh, our future work will be uh, 3D root segmentation from our 3D models, and we can predict some uh, phenotypes like biomass, or we can do node identification and neutron exchange estimation. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, please come by our poster for live demo and questions. Thank you.